Hello, this is another class for the Django uh, Bootstrap. Uh, in the previous class, uh, we, we run our dashboard in our local server. So we already have this, uh, we, we achieve uh, to show the dashboard, to connect with the local server. Um, uh, we, we don't have uh, yet the, the, the links. For example, we have, if I click this one, uh, up, uh, open that page, page not found. So, so what we gonna do uh, in this class, we wanna, we wanna create another, uh, another script URL with URL script so we can uh, we can create more uh, more links or more different links uh, to to our application so i just remember uh, i doing this this uh, class just for practice english so if you don't like how i speak you can change the channel you can look for another tutorial, so you are free to do that. So we wanna continue doing that. I'm gonna open up a Visual Studio Code that is or, or a program to, to write the scripts. So, a, Right now we have two different uh, projects. Mo Modelo 2 is uh, our project. And Tienda Online is just for uh, support because I have a more, uh, this one is a, a more uh, advanced project. So I just use, it, use that for support. And our project is already is, is Modelo 2. So uh, we created uh, the app inside the mod, Modelo 2. We create basis one. So inside basis one, we have uh, two different folders that we created, uh, static and templates. And uh, in templates, we have just one file. That uh, one HTML file is home. So home already um, charge the local, the, the, um, the static files. So the static files uh, was the, the last class. The static files uh, is in the other folder here. In static files, we have three different folders, assets, CSS, and JS. So this is for a, um, is is only the the, um, the CSS script that make uh, that uh, in our HTML script um, the the script CSS CSS is, is for uh, make the colors the, the shape the graphic etc. Okay. Um, the first thing you have to do is create another URL a, a script inside this, this a file. We have to create inside the app because already we have a one a, in the model, model two, we have URL, URL S, um, um, file, so we have to create another one. So we create that in here, basis. We want to create another file. I'm going to name that URL. Yes. 
dot py. So what are we gonna put inside that? We wanna put uh, the same thing that we put inside the, the other URL is. We wanna copy that. All, copy, and copy here. And we're gonna eliminate or drop uh, something. We wanna drop the path admin here. We just have the, the, the path related to our application. So this uh, file URL is just for uh, our applications and all the different uh, pages related to our application. So if uh, we have a, a, a page that is not related with our application, we're gonna drop that. So for example, admin is not related to our application. This admin is, uh, is generally is a panel that uh, we already not seen that. We, we, are, we are already not talking about admin. We wanna see uh, in the next class, maybe. So I'm gonna drop that over here. And admin here, I'm gonna drop that too. So, um, I'm gonna save that for a moment. And what we have, uh, we have to, to drop in the other URL is a file, we have to drop a, this one, all that, that path that we keep in here, we wanna drop in the other URL, URL, a model. So here we're gonna drop a path home because it's in the other URL file. Wanna drop and we wanna keep the, the other things. And this one I think is not necessary a basis one because we wanna create another path that we're gonna import to, to here. So we can drop that too. I wanna save. And I'm gonna copy, uh, I'm gonna copy a, a, a line of code for my other project. So uh, that line of code, we need to, to relate the two different uh, URL um, files. So uh, I'm gonna open up. Copy this one. And close. I'm gonna close. And I come back to uh, my URL file the model two and paste that. So here we indicate to the URL uh, file that we gonna um, we gonna call the other uh, the other file name it URL. So instead of that question pedidos, I'm gonna change that for the name of our application that already is basis one. Basis one, URL is, and I'm gonna change the, 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 the other here. I'm gonna change this one is the name. And the namespace, I'm gonna need that uh, for other things uh, that we're gonna see in other classes. 
So you have to change uh, just the name to your app. And here we have uh, basis one, basis one, and basis one. That is already our application, basis one. So um, I'm gonna have to import that library. So I'm gonna return to my other project that is more advanced. I'm gonna check that. This one. On the Django URL is import path include. I think I already have this one, so I wanna check that. Yes, I have this one. I just have to import or um, append. I have to append just the name of include. So here we have include. So, um, uh, for example, if, if we have to uh, have an application, something related to, I don't know, shops or, or um, prices, and we put here prices slash all the different URL is path that we connect to here. We have to, to write first prices and then the, 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 the other uh, name it or the, or the URL is file. So here I wanna drop that because I, want, I don't want a, another word here. I just want a, the, um, the name of the URL, sorry. I'm gonna save that. Um, uh, we have that. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna, um, we're gonna run again our application, but we have to see if we uh, we don't have mistakes I want to check that quickly so i think there is no mistake because i changed the url path i'm gonna close the application control c and run again Okay, so here we go. We wanna run again the, the server, the local server. Server and see what happens. You wanna change again that. And here we go, we, we don't have uh, any mistake. The page is still uh, up and we can see the same. So we just, um, we just append a, another um, URL is file inside our application basis one. And we have the, the, the other is here to our model. So this is a, it's just for for organization or or um, if we have different or many pages in our application, um, we have to organize that with different apps. So each app gonna have um, the respective uh, URLs file. So uh, we, we can organize better than have all the links in just one script. So for this class is all. 
in the next class we want to create more views and, and have a, another views in in our dashboard so see you later